Hello there shrimplets, welcome to March Shrimp Tanks. In today's video we're going to do a little kind of unboxing. This is uh, some stuff that I got sent to me from Shrimp Mania, which is another YouTuber on YouTube. Um, he noticed in a lot of my tanks the, the walls were very green and my survival rates of my shrimp were kind of on the lowish side. So he suggested that I try this stuff. Right, So this is the fabled legendary dead shrimp powder. Yes. Dead shrimp powder, right? We're going to give this a go in the tanks today. It is a type of microbial powder. I do believe it's three in one microbial powder, being there's bacteria and vitamins and something else. You actually sent me two other little packages as well, which was a dead shrimp food, which we'll show you in another video. And I think this is dead shrimp vitamins, I think it is. So we'll give this a go today on the channel and uh, I do apologise guys for not posting yesterday or the day before but my ear has been horrific right so the next few videos will be kind of on the shortest side but the good news is guys my ear is, is actually getting better right so I don't know what I've done to it if it's been like some kind of uh, sinus infection I think that is what it is a sinus infection because I did a nose drain I know it sounds disgusting but you, you can do a nose drain Nose drain with saline solution water and yeah, I actually fit, I could feel some kind of little bit of pain behind my nose and my throat area like like the salt water was reacting to stuff. Oh my god Mark, you're going off on a tangent. This is about dead shrimp powder. Right, so let's get on with it. <laughs> Alright guys, what are you doing <laughs> way up there? So here's our dead shrimp powder. Guys, I can't hold the camera and do this as well, right? So you're going to have to watch me from afar, I'm afraid, right? So we're going to use... A levels teaspoon like this and let me see what can you see it you can you see it yes you can right, and by the way we'll go back over all the stuff that we do as well right so I'm gonna put some in all of our tanks here hopefully you can see something yeah I didn't think this through with the camera here I, I actually have an attachment here for it to fit onto things just odd surfaces in the room guys and I never use it normally because this camera is too heavy for it Let's try some stuff over here, and I'm just going to plop it in, guys. It seems to spread it really, really easily, if you get my gist. I wonder if you guys can actually see down here. Probably can. Oh my god. Get a wee bit squeaky up there. <laughs> so this tank, uh, my crystal red shrimp tank here, has got bazillions of babies. You can actually see them from the top. Put half in there, half and half. Now do the bottom tank here if I will right. And it's recommended that you dose this guys twice a week. Twice, twice. Right, so let's move you on to something else and we'll do another tank. I think we did all of them on this side. You see what I mean? You're actually on a on a grip, basically. That's what it is, like a little vice grip thing, and it manages to hold all my dishesney together. Do you like my lovely nepenthes? It's probably not the best angle for you guys, but it's what's going to be available right now. Is there nothing else we can attach you to? Let me think. Is there nothing else? Right, I'm not going to go berserk with this powder because, as I said, yeah, just take your time with powders and shrimp tanks, especially the ones that are bacteria related, because the last thing you want to do is overdose and kill stuff in your tank. I'm going to do this one here. Can you guys see away over here? You can't. I think I'll actually put it into my Opa Ula tank as well, because uh, we want some lovely bacterial film to grow. Let's see, where else can you go this time? Where else can you go? My Nepenthes get huge. Look at the size of these jugs. Look at them, look at them. I wonder if you can fit here for a second. You can. Look at that. It's not very well lit, but at least you can see over here. <laughs> it's just to give you a different view, guys. So I'm going to put one full scoop into this tank and we'll do like a tiny half scoop for the bottom tank. And don't worry shrimplets, we'll go back in a second and we're going to look at the tanks 
so that you can see everything, everything right. So this is dead shrimp powder. All righty, shrimp farm. Let's have a little look at the tanks. Where do you start with a powder? Where do you start? So I put a whole scoop in here. You'll see all the little white bits on the bottom. This uh, will disappear. Of the shrimp eat it, that is. Lots of babies in this tank. Lots of adult shrimp as well. Stuff gets everywhere. See the algae and biofilm on the side. I don't think I put anything in these tanks today. I'll do that in the next video for you guys. But yeah, as you can see, it disperses pretty fast. Maybe I can get a, a view from the top. And guys, I put the same amount into... Look at the base in this tank. Look at look at the base in this tank. You see the difference? The shrimp have actually been eating it already. We literally just put it in. Dead shrimp powder. These, uh, this tank here actually has my blue bolts and stuff in it now. I put them in there today. Look how lovely and green that wall is. This is with our agar test, remember? Bigger tank. This is just starting to get more shrimp in it. I put all my culls and stuff in here. Mostly males. You can see them zooming around. And uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Looking good. Looking good. This, guys, if you're noticing as well, I've actually been re, uh, restarting tanks. I didn't film them because, as I said, my ear was kind of really bad. It doesn't make for making a good video, guys, if my hearing is bad. It just doesn't work. So you can see on the top. Okay, if we can get past that glare, you might be able to see the shrimp underneath. Let me know in the comment section below if you can. So go over here. Guys, this is... Uh, this tank is starting to have an issue with this java moss. It's growing just a wee bit too much. Look how much it's growing, so let's put it in there. Look at it. I actually quite like this on this little stick. The GoPro. You can see all the shrimp and the moss. How are you guys doing in here? Filter feeders will love this powder, I'd imagine. I did a little bit of culling in this tank today. Got all the babies, bazillions of them. Tank's doing real good now. I even put it into my Neocaradina tanks as well. Like these guys are grazing on the bottom. And I put some into this tank as well. A little fish and the shrimp and whatever else I'll get some food. You see them? I'm trying to get rid of that light glare, you see it? Awesome. Right guys, so yeah, as I said, I'll leave a link in the description and probably pin it in the first comment as well to where you can go and see in more detail about dead shrimp powder because yeah, Leonid, um, Shrimp Mania, he did a pretty good video on it. I don't want to steal his thunder. He gave me this stuff for free as well. So thank you very much, Shrimp Mania. And guys, if you would like to support the channel, then please do become a member. I'm going to stick up all the members' names and stuff in a second. If you'd like to subscribe and like the video as well, that would help me out tremendously. Also, guys, if you want to further help me, you can buy a, a hoodie or a t-shirt. And or you can do me a big favor and just watch this next video. Thank you for watching, guys. I know this one's been very short, but I'm here. And once it's fixed, we'll get back to doing the longer content videos.